All right, one card on the bottom for Shane. We're ready to go. I believe Shane is on the play. Mox Diamond. That resolves. Discard Dark Depths. Okay. Discarding a copy of Dark Depths. And are we going to lull him on turn one? Despian Stage. Uh, yeah. Okay. And an Elvish Reclaimer. Okay. Good start. Elvish Reclaimer getting some play in these lands decks these days. Gets bolted. I had a two memory. Yeah, two memory cool. So historically, you know, if you've been paying attention to Legacy for a while, you're aware that lands historically has been a deck that gobbles up Delver, beats the crap out of Delver. That's changed a little bit in recent years. It's still a heaven ma favored matchup in general for lands, I would say, but a little bit closer now. Loam, Windswept Heath, and Dark Depths are targeted. Looks like that's resolving. This is from Monday Night Legacy at Game Storia here in New York City. Um, New York City Legacy scene has been around for a really long time. A lot of the players have been jamming this format for so long. And... Um, the events at the LGS, Monday Night Legacy, attract some talented players from the New York City area. Um, part of the reason this channel even exists is because we have such high level of play just in my area for all of you to watch, you know. That was Lush Portico. Surveil. Yeah, the, the last match we had Reed on stream, uh, I think there was a game where they didn't make a land drop for the entire game. <laughs> This one so far is going a little bit better. Has a threat on the board. No delirium yet. Shane's still thinking about the surveil with Lush Portico. I'm gonna leave it on top. Maybe. Exploration. Yes. All right, then Dark Depths looking good for Shane here, who's now hellbent but has the Dark Depths Thespian Stage combo on the board, Loam in the graveyard, Exploration on the battlefield. Uh, I don't know what else you really want if you're Shane. This is this is looking good. Reed does have a Wasteland, but you only get one shot with that. <laughs> People shouting out their cities in the chat. Yeah, there there are uh, other cities with healthy legacy communities for sure. Molten Collapse. So we're going after exploration, surveil. <laughs> okay, the surveil decision is force of will goes to the graveyard. Expiration shot down. Dragon's Rage Channeler attacking. 
So the exploration getting shot down here is pretty huge for Reed. I mean, the, the Dark Depths Merit Lage combo uh, with Despian Stage is available. Loam. Okay, we're just going to dredge here. Let's see what we find. Lava Spur Boots, Urza Saga, and Thespian Stage. I was going to say, though, that the um, exploration getting blown up slows down the engine by quite a bit if Wasteland prevents Merit Lage from being created. But now the um, Urza Saga is a, is a separate issue. <laughs> Starting to stack up threats up against uh, Reed here. Does it really make sense to fire off this Wasteland on Urza Saga as it enters? We may see that play. Uh, it, it's If Reed has like a Brazen Bower in hand or something. Yeah, Lava Spur Boots unfortunately just got dumped into the graveyard. So that's probably done for the day in this game. Okay, Urza Saga will get its counter. Reed took a look at the situation, decided not to waste it. Um, but now making some constructs is a is a separate problem to deal with. Yeah, it's also possible Reed was looking at wasting dark depths there, but the the, the loam situation makes that a little bit tricky. Um, Thespian stage and ancient tomb dump that time along with it look like an expiration. I believe that was an expiration. Which decks do I think will run the new Bauble? That's a good question. So Twitch chat is asking about Vexing Bauble, a new card from Modern Horizons 3. New to us right now. I'm not sure when people will be, you know. There, there's this awkward timing now where, where uh, my, my thoughts on stuff like this will quickly get outdated, I guess. But um, Artifact decks with Urza Saga will be the first place to start, I think, if people are going to be testing that card. All right, Life in the Loam, returning all three lands in the yard. Four pitching days. Uh, uh, Trying to get Delirium on, I think, is Reed. Throwing away a Volcanic Island that we don't need is nice, but it would be nice to also flip this Delver, turn on Delirium, and start attacking with, for some real damage. Has the Wasteland to defend for now. Despian Stage number two is making things even trickier. If both Despian Stage can be activated... That makes things difficult. Delver didn't flip. No delirium. So a pretty <laughs> second wasteland. All right, well, this is getting interesting. Copy your wasteland. Copying wasteland with Despian stage. When you're like ready to just okay. yeah, yeah. I thought it was gonna be home, but I was like, hey, like I can. Hey, you like, I can you have my scare of resistance. You have my. Not super Cast it. Targets Despian Stage, Urza Saga, Yavamaya. Despian Stage, Urza Saga, Yavamaya. Urza Saga. Okay. Sure. All right, another Urza Saga comes in. Well, the same one. Him to Turok revealed on top. Him to Turok. Not going to be very exciting. It's going to get fired off, though. Surveil. No delirium. Three. Uh, for the one you keep, one, two, three, four, five, six. So keep this one. Just keep these two. Maya and Winsweb Heath. Okay, you have a Maya and Winsweb Heath are discarded. Not a super impactful play, but I'm trying to get that delirium online. Attack it for four. Eleven. Go. Very long pieces. The double wasteland is playing some decent defense here, but the timing of everything is 
I mean, I'm, I'm sure Reed would prefer to get some uh, three power creatures on the board sooner than has been happening so far. Loam is Dredge, Crucible of Worlds, Elvish Reclaimer, and looks like another copy of Yavamaya. There's a Saga ticks up. It looks like Reed is Hellbent as well. Okay, waste your waste. Starting a chain of events. Despian Stage was a copy of Wasteland from a few turns ago. Now wasting the waste and Reed has to respond by wasting something. What's the target? Wasteland your Urza Saga. Okay, going after Urza's Saga. Force of Phil, thank you for the resub with Prime. 39 months. What's up, Force of Phil? Force of Phil is on tour, everybody. Yep. Float into mana with Saga. Now waste the waste. You have one mana floating? Yeah. So this is a separate trigger for each. One mana floating for Shane. Now Wasteland. What do we do? Trigger and I choose a free one. Wasteland, Lush Portico. Goes after the Lush Portico. Shane's going to make a Merit Lage, it looks like, is the plan. No counter. All right. I'll get a Merit Lage, and I'll pass two. Mm. Throw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. All right, Liliana the Veil off the top. <laughs> wow. All right, Necrotic Phoenix, thank you for the sub with Prime. <laughs> okay. Make you sacrifice your creature? Yeah, it makes sense to me. Attack for six. Go. Wow. So you could, like, you could enter on Sunday and then, right. and then hang. Wait, what happened? Six. Go. Alright, you got it. That was goofy. The cut at the end of game one was a little early, but Reed got game one. Liliana of the Veil, folks. Okay, here's Expiration on turn one. A good start here in game two for Shane, who uh, had a game stolen by Liliana the Veil there in game one. Urza Saga. Expedition map, okay. Fetch 19. Uh, zero life and 10 poison or something. Yeah. All right, so we figured out how to correctly adjust the life totals. Cracking a fetch. Let's see if we get a turn one Delver or DRC. Channeler. Ball and surveil. That's an interesting one. Mishra's Bobble Surveil. Um, my toes over here. Well, unfortunately, I don't know if there's one of the spells to be here. So that. All right, counterbalance thrown away. Go for the blade, and my turn and draw from the bubble. Trigger to two. Where's the stop? Yep. I'll play that Yavamaya. 
So three types in the yard right now for Reed. Getting wasted though. Versus Saga's online. This is tough. That Liliana of the Veil. We've had some moments on today's stream, haven't we, chat? People have been with us since the beginning. This has been a wild stream. Ponder and Surveillance. Okay, Ponder Surveil makes Delirium live. Delirium would have been on with Ponder anyway, but it's on even sooner. Oh, this is the guy that's Mayor of Pendrel Valley is Shane in the chat says I could hardly believe my eyes when he flipped that Liliana. Couldn't have picked a better way to lose. Yeah. That was that was quite a moment. Just the, the timing of everything was perfect. Or some ideas, but it's mostly my build, yeah. That's great. We planned that perfectly. Yeah. Everything that happens on this channel is scripted, of course. All right, attacking for three now. Dragon's Race Channeler has Delirium. And uh, now the Constructs will start getting pumped out. We know Shane has Lava Spur Boots in the deck, so we'll see if Shane looks for that, or will it be Shadow Spear, or will it be Vexing Bobble? Oh, wait, not yet. Not yet. Yep. Uh, Totec Spear, excuse me. Sorry. All right, Urza Saga has ticked up to three. What are we going to do with it? Shane is trying to figure out now. There's an expedition map on the board, expiration. The constructs right now would be three threes before the search. Which isn't too bad. Float a mana. Okay, okay. just gonna float a mana. Looks like Reed's thinking about responding. Are you ready to me? Yes, so the trigger um, is on the stack to search my so library. Yeah, you have, you have a colorless mana floating. Yeah. I'm gonna pay two life and surgical your wasteland and surveil. Okay, Surgical on Wasteland before the search. Surveil Carnage Interpreter into the graveyard. Spicy one. Dark Depths. Sylvan Library. Windswept Heath are the cards in hand. Do I, do I create one of these? Of yes. my choice? You get a Carnage Interpreter. Oh, I get one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, a detective from the Clue set. Carnage Interpreter, a spicy one. It's in Reed's sideboard. Reed's list is posted in our Discord server in the Deckless channel. Cool. Yeah, this just sticks on the battlefield. Right, I'm sorry. Yep. Sure, go. It's real online. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, Enchanted Player creates it. I, I can crack this turn. All right, looks like Wasteland has been successfully surgical. Just taking a look through the deck. Um, I guess turn in your and Shane will be floating a mana before the search. Uh, so I'll let you shuffle. And sure, I have a search trigger. You mind if I do that? Oh yeah, perfect. Um, I am also going to crack my expedition map. Can I do both? Mm -hmm. Okay, so searching with both expedition map and Urza Saga. After the surgical on Wasteland, finding Thespian Stage, and an artifact. Maybe Pit Boy 3000? What are we finding here? 
What's the right play, chat? <laughs> I haven't seen a single Pit Boy yet. <laughs> Has anybody seen Pit Boy? Yeah, it's hard. Soul Guy Lantern. Okay. Okay. Prevent Merc Tide, shut off Delirium. I like it. AP asking the right questions. Are these play patterns healthy? Play lands, find artifacts. You know what, AP? The, the play patterns are all screwed up. And you could thank Wizards for that. They screwed it all up. All right, so Ponder gets exiled by Soul, Gar Soul Guy Lantern's ETB. Playing Dark Depths now, making a Merit Lage now. Has a Construct, so can't lose to Liliana. Also, Reed only has one land. Uh, in your upkeep. So you okay, upkeep, exile your graveyard. No Merc Tide for you. Reed does not have Merc Tides in the deck, though. But Shane doesn't know that. All right, we are going to game three. One card on the bottom for Shane, looks like. A mulligan. <laughs> okay. I think you got it. Yeah, yeah, right. I'll yeah, fetch yeah, down 19 to a volcanic. Yeah. I don't know about playing this thing. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Turn one again. I'm trying to get that surveil up and running. Start swinging away. Turn if you had invested in construct. Yeah, I, I, it stopped the construct, right? I guess that's yeah. like just the construct. Yeah. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. The channels on Scarabos are pretty good. Yeah, that, that's a thing. All right, that's being stage on turn one for Shane. I think in both games one and two, Shane had like multiple plays on turn one where we were dropping expiration or mox diamonds and prepping for life in the loam, stuff like that. This started a little bit less explosive, maybe. Ponder Surveil, leave it on top. It's a good sign for Reed, I guess. Something that he wants was sitting on top of the library. Unlikely we'll see a Ponder Shuffle here, is my guess. Yeah. It's, t it's <laughs> tough against your deck. It's like, I don't really have a great game against Jordan Saga, and I feel pretty comfortable against Storm. Because I have, like, Tennis One Cannonist in the main, and uh, uh, Chow, so I have. Um, thinking pretty hard about this Ponder, though. What, what um, is sitting on top of the library? It's hard to say. There could be a Wasteland in the mix. There could be... Um, Force of Negation or something like that. I don't know if Force of Negation is in the deck. Brainstorm and Surveil. Yeah. Okay, Brainstorm Surveil. Knew the card on the top of the deck was Delver. Three cards. Chartwin, thank you for the sub with Prime. 45 months. Appreciate that. How will anybody catch up to Chartwin? 45 months. So dumping a Delver into the graveyard gives us three types, and then the Brainstorm will be four. So Delirium will be up and running, which is great news for Reed. We want to be swinging for three as soon as possible. There it is. And if you're Reed, you're ho you hopefully have some number of interaction spells in hand ready to go. Let's see what Shane's turn two looks like. Mox Diamond, that's in there. No, but there was no... No, I don't know. Discard Wasteland. Okay, discarding Wasteland. Okay, discarding Wasteland. No fear for Surgical. Expiration. How many cards? Four cards in hand, thinking about expiration on the stack. Expiration is usually 
situations vary quite a bit, but usually a spell you like to counter against uh, lands. There aren't a lot of spells that are like... Um, <laughs> I don't even know what the word is. Just like worthy of countering. Crop rotation and expiration are usually uh, the choice. All right, surgical getting fired off. We get to look at Shane's hand. Life from the Loam, Thespian Stage, Urza Saga, Maze of If. That Maze of If could be a problem. Urza Saga, of course, pretty annoying. But Wasteland getting surgical again. Yeah, the loam is really annoying, for sure. Um, it's kind of funny, actually. Like we use we use the word annoying, but like really, we mean. <laughs> what do we really mean? I guess just powerful, in this situation, and that can be frustrating when you're trying to fight through, uh, fight fight an uphill battle against a deck built to beat yours. It's just f funny, the terminology we use, I guess. But Life and Alone and Maze of Ith, fair to say, annoying. And then, okay, the exploration resolves. Yeah, important and recursive. It happens over and over again. Once you get the loam engine up and running, you're probably getting Life and Alone cast every turn. And that can get, like we said, annoying. Urza Saga. So that's up and running. Expiration is on the board. Maze of Ith going to play some defense. Looking pretty good for Shane now. Expiration on the board. Thespian stage. Urza Saga. Maze of Ith. Wasteland is surgical, but I think we're doing okay on Shane's side at the moment. Okay, a second Dragon's Maze Channeler will get around the maze next turn. Despian Stage can copy Maze, potentially, if needed. Urza Saga ticking up. We'll start making some Constructs. If Urza Saga makes two Constructs, digs up an equipment, Reed could be in trouble. Swords on a Dragon's Race channel are pretty good. Sure, 20. Uh, I'll pass you. So if you kind of, like mentally pause at this moment or if, if you're watching this later physically pause the video and you're thinking to yourself how the heck is reed going to win this game i'm thinking the same thing what does reed need here it's facing down at urza saga double thespian stage maze of ith the loam engine uh exploration is on the board just has a dragon's race channeler looking really sad on the board right now <laughs> Price of Progress is a card that could matter. I mean, even that, if cast right at this moment, is not game winning, but. Um, and this is going to be tough. <laughs> Maze of Ith getting used. Hmm. Delirium is on, but it barely matters. Plenty of cards in the graveyard. We don't know if Shane knows this, but there are no Murktides in the deck, so we're not going to see Delve. We know Reed has Carnage Interpreter. We saw it in game two. It comes out of the sideboard. That's another threat that Maze of Ith can hold off and won't be able to block very well against potentially Shadow Spear equipped constructs. All right, making a construct here with Urza Saga. It's possible Reed has Meltdown, and that could be a start. Meltdown, Waste Maze of Ith. We know there's Loam. This is tough. Can't see what's in Reed's hand right now. Reed's holding a bunch of cards. 
Goodbye, Yeah, not sure Reed would have Blood Moon in here. Wait, who we? I'm like... Actually, Waitress quit during my birthday a few years ago and she lost the season. Really? There were like 14 people there, and she was, you can hear her in the back, like, arguing with someone. She came out of the back and, like, dropped. And uh, Carnage Interpreter text up on the screen for anyone that forgot what that is. Card from the Clue set. Spicy one. In Reed's list. Maybe Reed pointing us in the right direction. Maybe we've overlooked that card, Jet. Who knows? Who knows? Urza Saga pops. Just flowing a mana this time. It was really bad. Yeah. you finish your Okay, expedition map. It's been acknowledged. Nothing we can really do about it. What does map want to look for? So using one colorless, one colorless, and one Okay, expedition map has been popped. Searching now for a land. Okay, it will be dark depths. It's time to start making some Merit Lages, I guess. So Merit Lage has been found. Life from the Loam, Life from the Loam, Urza Saga. It's the only land in the yard. I believe Shane still has two land drops this turn. Urza Saga Dark Depths, pretty good. It's pretty... Pretty significant turn there for Shane. Getting Loam up and running officially. Dark Depths on the board. Urza Saga on the board again. Construct hanging back, it looks like, this time. It is just a 2-2, two -two and Delirium is online. A lighting bolt you and surveil. Bolt you surveil. Okay. Meltdown into the graveyard. So Reed's looking for something that's not meltdown right now. Which doesn't say much because there's a bunch of cards in there. So that they're like imitations of, they're all like imitations of your screen. And some stupid puns. I hope that what the heck can Reed do here? I mean, oh, Maze of Ith plus Dark Depths combo plus Urza Saga plus Loam plus Expiration. It's just like a giant stack of crap he's going to have to fight through. And, you know, we don't have... Seven more bolts in the deck or whatever, right? Um, this is going to be tough. I feel like I keep saying it's going to be tough, but it is. Yeah, Reed is aware that you will play around Meltdown to some extent. Nile Spellbomb, that's not too bad. That could potentially knock out Life from the Loam, shut off one part of this... situation uh, shut down a significant part of Shane's game plan here I don't think we'll see a sheltered thicket get cycled to save Loam that's not really a thing going on anymore so now Spellbomb gets fired off Loam is gone Reed will draw a card it looks like Reed drew Wasteland it looks like Reed also has a, a meltdown in hand I think I spotted a meltdown in hand and it's getting fired off now Surveil leaves a card on top. So Construct, Mox Diamond, gone. 
Making some progress. <laughs> Looks like Reed's straining here. How the heck do I win this? Uh, waistline on the board is good defense against Merritt Lage. Is it worth it to go after Urza Saga? Hard to say. Urza Saga's ticking up, though. Maze of also a problem. Another Thespian stage. And as uh, the people of the chat are aware, Thespian Stage can copy Maze of Ith or Urza Saga. Or Wasteland. We saw that in the previous game. Ponder and Surveil. Okay, Ponder Surveil, throw away a Bloodstained Mire. And it'll be a Ponder Shuffle. So Reed is looking for something. Most likely, uh, I mean, him, you and Surveil. Okay, him to Turok. Get rid of a sword to plowshares. Delver into the graveyard. Make you use your Maze of Ith and pass the turn. And Shane's going to make a construct. I'm going to... Uh, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll waste on Dark Depths. Okay, wasting Dark Depths now as Urza Saga gets activated. That seems fine. A little bit of a... Uh, Tricky situation, I guess. Do you make a Marilage? Do you make a Construct? Something is going to get wasted. I think Shane was right to go to make a Construct. Reed was right to go hit Dark Depths. Here's Shadow Spear now. Another problem to solve. Unlikely we have a third Meltdown, right? We know that one was milled into the graveyard. One was fired off. Does Reed have Mystic Sanctuaries? Probably not. <laughs> That's an ancient tomb. Now going to equip the Shadow Spear to a construct and attack. Big attack. Yep. 16, 16. True. Ponder and Ponder and Surveil. It's kind of too late for Null Rod if that's in there. It's kind of, uh... Hmm. From anywhere, I'll destroy Shadow Spear and Construct. And okay, Molten Collapse with Descend is not bad at all. Blow up Shadow Spear and a Construct. That was actually huge. Well. That Molten Collapse was really good. 16-16. Sure. Draw. Wasteland Maze of Ith. Attack for three. 13. Go. Okay, we wasted Maze of Ith. Now we're attacking. Shane was Hellbent. Caracas passed the turn. Another Dragon's Rage Channeler. Sorry. Time in the round. Time in the round just called. Sorry, I didn't expressly yeah, say, but... Yeah, 14. Attack you for six. Uh, did Reed steal this game somehow? Did that Molten Collapse win the game? It looks like it as of right now. Urza Saga, shaking hands, GG's. Reed gets it. Unbelievable. 